my grandfather maintained that Sivun Pale Palalong who paired the contact of it along. Which is true that if you don't speak the language you lose contact with it. So it was de rigueur for us, en famille, when the family was together, for all family members to speak in French. Because he said, unless you keep it up, you'll lose it. He was a lover of France for one simple reason, because if you take your mind back to that epoch, uh, you will agree with me that the uh, diplomatic language was French. All treaties were in French. Most of the royal courts in Europe spoke French. And French was... Uh, uh, the, the, the French uh, aesthetics were centered in Paris. So Paris was considered to be the heart of all aesthetics. So as far as the aesthetics went, he was completely in the French camp. There have been lots of books published on my grandfather because he was such a, uh, an exceptional personality on the ferment of the Indian princes. But there was always a sort of a slant to the books the books covered mainly his more esoteric uh, persona. In other words, um, um, what all he collected, what he, what he acquired. And, uh, it was more uh, a sort of a rendition of what his acquisitions were, not what his accomplishments were. And I thought it was, that gives a very distorted view of a person. And it doesn't round off the pers persona of the individual you're trying to describe. And therefore I thought it, I would like to try and show him as a human being, as a ruler, and above all, as a man who was steeped in meritocracy in those days.